How about we make some Mario inspired 3D objects? So let's make a star. Go to Build, Primitives, and Ngon right here. And the default will be 6. I'm going to change that to 5 since we want a star. We need a pentagon shape. So we have 5. Drag that in the viewport to create our pentagon. And now from here, we can extrude this shape. So we go to Build, Extrude. We're going to extrude along the z-axis. I'll put the length at something like 10. Segments only one. Cap start and end. And there we go. Now we have a nice pentagon shape here. So we're going to select all of these spaces here on the edge. And I'll switch to my front view now. And we're going to just peek all of these edges into points. And peek them out until they make a nice star shape there. And now we have a star. It's upside down though. So what I'm going to do is rotate that model. So click it, double click here. Just to get a more precise rotation along the z-axis, I'll put 180. And this will flip it over. Center this, so I'll go to Edit, Locate, Stand on Origin. Now it's in the very center. In Mario games, the stars have eyes on them, so let's go ahead and create that now. Let's create a sphere. I'm going to go ahead and rotate this sphere on the y-axis here. And convert this to a mesh. This way I can edit it. So now, all of this behind I don't need. I'm going to switch to my top view and just delete all of these vertices. Everything I'm not going to see, I'll just get rid of that. Now we have half of the sphere here. I'll return to my top view. Go ahead and scale this non-uniformly along the y-axis here. Uh, just make it a bit flat. That looks about right. And at the same time, I'm going to squash it along the x-axis to make a nice oval shape. Let's go to the top view and I'll go ahead and move this right there and switch to the front view. Let me just scale this down a bit. And here we go. From here I'm just adjusting where the eyes should go. I'm also going to scale it again. And there we have it. So I'll click on it, build, mirror image, mirror it along the X axis here. And then now we have our star object. I'm going to go ahead and change the smooth angle of both of these. So the star I'll give it 180. And the eyes, I'll go ahead and join those, build, join solids. So now both of the eyes are one object. And I'll go ahead and change the smooth angle to 100. And now to add the materials to this star, the first material we're going to create is going to be a yellow material. That should be good. And now we have our yellow material here. Let's go ahead and apply that to the star. And now we need a color for the eyes. Just make this completely black. Apply that to the eyes right here. And there we go. Now we have our star. We can smooth that out, so I'll select the star and go to Smooth Object, and I'll put the tension at 0.5. This will now round out the star and make it a bit more smoother and nice looking. Uh, let me just go ahead and adjust these eyes, they're sticking out a bit too much. Let me push those eyes inwards, so they're more in the model. And there, we have a nice smooth star model. Now let's go ahead and make a feather object. I want to make this out of a curved path, so let's go ahead and select that. Start up here at the top, make a point, make another one right here. You can make a fourth point here. Now we just select our path, double click on it. On ends, we'll click closed. And here I'll just edit these points individually. So we'll go to build, fill, and now we filled in this shape. I'm going to go ahead and merge all of these faces together into one and create an inset. Let's go ahead and scale that. I actually want to make this thinner, so I'll just scale this along the X axis. Now for our materials. I'll create one that is completely white. Go ahead and apply that, and now we have our white feather. And I'll create another material. This one will be sort of an orange color. And I'm going to go ahead and apply that material to all of these faces here. And there we go. I'm also going to apply this material to the apply white to these faces here on opposite ends. 
now we have our feather object. This one is very simple. Let's go ahead and make a mushroom. Mushroom is a common power-up found in Mario games. We're going to start this with a sphere. Let's go ahead and create a sphere here. Um, for the parameters, I think this is fine. I'll just put 10 for latitude. We'll have 10 divisions here. I'll come to mesh. I'm going to center this, edit, locate, stand on origin. Now it's in the center here. And in our point edit mode, I'm going to go ahead and just select all of these faces here and merge them. Let's extrude it. Give it one extrusion here. And with this, I will go ahead and adjust it, make this a bit long. And now from here, I'll select all of these vertices and scale them non-uniformly. I'll make these a bit thinner. Uh, that seems about right. I'll create another loop of edges here. Select this one edge, select the ring, the entire ring around it. And I'll create another loop and move that one down a bit and scale it a bit. Go to the side view here. And on the side, I'll just go ahead and select everything and scale it just a bit more thinner. Uh, that looks about right. I'm going to make another selection of these ring of edges here and make another loop. Go ahead and bevel that edge. And now I'll select these and go ahead and scale these just to make them a bit thinner, only along the x-axis. And now we have a mushroom type shape here. All right, now from here, I'm going to go ahead and select these two edges. There we go. I'm going to perform a bevel on those edges, just a slight bevel there. Now I'm going to select a vertex here. And using the slide tool, I'm going to slide that vertex all the way up here to where it meets this point. I'll do the same thing on the other side. Drag select inside those vertices. Select those vertices as well. And from this, I'm going to go ahead and as you can see, there's some deformation on the model. That's unwanted. That's because two points are occupying the same space, but they're at different angles. Basically, we're going to merge those points together. We'll go and keep the merge distance at 0.5, that seems about right, and this will fix our issue here. We'll do the same thing for this bottom part here. So let's go ahead and use the slide tool, slide that vertex, slide the other vertex down, and go ahead and select these, and merge these as well. And now, it's a more clean shape. And with this mushroom, we're actually going to create three materials. Our first material is going to be the bottom part of the mushroom, so let's go ahead and create that RNG color. I'll put that ambient at 0.6. We don't need specular. And let's see. Drag select all the faces here on the bottom and apply that material. Now our second material is going to be, or going to be the eyes of the mushroom. So let me go ahead and just create black. We don't need specular here. So a complete black material and apply that to those faces. And that's looking okay. Looking at it now, I actually want to make these a little bit thinner, so I'll select both of these and scale them along the x-axis, just to make these a bit more thinner. At this point, I'll go to my side view and actually edit the bottom part of the mushroom to make it a bit more thinner from the side view here. There we go, and then select this edge loop and do the same thing. This way the shape is a bit more even now. Our last material is going to be for the top mushroom. We need a spotted texture. So the basic mushroom is red with white spots. So let's go ahead and make that within Animator actually. First I'll go to Object New. We'll be creating a new object here. Let's start with making these spots. So I'll go to Build, Primitives, and Gone. And we'll put 12. 12 is a decent number of sides to make a round and gone. Click and drag that, and we get a nice circle here. I'll just go to Build, Fill, and with that, we can just smooth that out. Build, Smooth Object, and keep the tension at zero, that's fine. And now we have a nice, smooth circle. Create another material. This one will be completely white. Now we can apply that material to our circle that we made, and that will be our spot. So go ahead and just copy and paste, and then move the pasted circle around wherever you want. And you can paste another one, move it, paste another one, move it. There, you just want to repeat that until you have a nice assortment of spots. And now we can just render this image. So go to Render Image. We want a red background. Red background. With our white spots, we will get a nice spotted texture. And we'll be using this 
as our texture for a mushroom material. So let's go ahead and save that as spots. Now back to our mushroom object here. Let's go ahead and select all of these faces on top and create our new material. And on the diffuse right here, we're going to put a texture map and we can load that spotted texture that we just created within animator. And there we have it. All we have to do is push OK. I'm going to put the ambient at 0.5 for this one. And this one also doesn't need any specular. And now we apply that to all of our faces. And there we go. And now we have our nice little mushroom here. It's very simple. Alright, let's go ahead and make uh, another object. We can make an egg here. Let's start with a sphere. Let's center this out. Edit, locate. Stand on origin. Now this sphere is in the center. And with here we want to create a modifier. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll create a modifier cage. There we go. I'm going to use a taper for this. Uh, this will be how we make our egg shape here. So I'm also going to center the modifier. Edit, locate, stand on origin. Now that modifier is completely covering our sphere. So it has total influence on it. I'm just going to move the modifier down just a little bit. There we go. Now select the modifier and the sphere, go to build, modifiers, bind modifier, so now this will affect it. Double click here on the modifier, and for taper, we're going to put 0.6 should be okay. And now with that, we can click on this, build, modifiers, effect modifier, and that applies the transformation permanently. And now we have our egg shape, we need a spotted texture. Luckily we've just made a spotted texture doing the mushroom that we made. So let's go ahead and move to that. So yeah, with these spots that we created, all we have to do is just change the colors around. So back to the material of this. Instead of white, I'll put these spots as green. And let me go ahead and render that image. When we render, we just want a complete white background. And now we have a green spotted texture. Just remember to save this as a different file. I'll save this as green spots. And now back to our egg object here. All we need to do is apply a material. And just like we did with the mushroom, all we have to do is just go to our diffuse and load that green spotted texture. And now we just select that texture there. And for the ambient, I'm going to put 0.6, make it a bit more vibrant. I don't need specular for this. Now all we do is simply select our egg and apply that material. And now we have a nice little Yoshi egg object. Alright, so next why don't we make a shell, a turtle shell, or a Koopa shell as it's called. So we're going to start with the sphere, let me center this, edit, locate, stand on origin, now that it's centered. Here we're going to convert to mesh, build, convert to mesh, and now I want to select this edge right here in the middle, select that entire loop, and then bevel that out. That's pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and select all of this on the bottom, all of these vertices on the bottom and scale these along the y-axis to make it shorter, just squish that and then move that upwards. This will be the bottom of our shell. Next I want to select this ring of edges here and create another loop cut and then scale that edge outwards. From here I want to bevel this edge. Now I want to select all of these vertices right here and scale them down a little bit. I'll select all of these vertices and do the same on the other side here and move these up a little bit. These five vertices in the middle here, I'm going to go ahead and move that down. And now from here, uh, let me go into the top view and I'll just select it and scale it down along the y-axis just to squish it a little bit. There we go. And now we see we have our basic shape here. And we're going to separate this into three different parts and how we do that is just select this edge and this edge on the bottom. Perform a loop select so now this entire loop of edges is selected and we just perform a loop cut. That will divide our model into three sections. As you can see we have the top here, the middle, and the bottom. There we go. And now the reason I did that is because I actually want to change how this looks. So for the top, we're going to click on that and change the smooth angle to something very rough. 
I'll put a 10 there. And for the middle part, I actually want a smooth angle of 100 to make it look smooth. And the bottom can also be 100, just to have a smooth shape. Now when you look at this, there's a clear separation, even though we made this from one object. And we can also apply our materials easier now. Let's select the bottom and create a material here. Uh, we can do something that's sort of like a yellow-orangey color. Apply that to the bottom, that looks kind of good. For the middle, uh, I think just a plain white is good. And for the top, these shells come in many different colors. Blue, greens, reds. Uh, I'm going to go with blue myself. And there we go, that blue kind of works. And now we have our nice little Koopa shell here.